thank you. Um, my name is Nicole. Um, I'm actually from South Africa, so I hope you can understand my accent. Uh, I'm just going to do a little introduction about the Kibbutz Upan program, and then I'll speak a little bit about my experience. So I'm just going to share screen. Can everyone see? Okay. Yeah, we can see, Nicole. Okay, perfect. So just a little bit about the organization or the program. It's organized by Masa, Jewish Agency, and all the organizations you can see here. Um, basically what it's about, it's about, it's a short program um, where a lot and lots of people have been through and have done. And it's, it's young people, it's people around 18 to 30, I think is the age, but we'll speak a little bit more about that just now. Um, so what is the program? The program, tourists and immigrants, so whether you're wanting to make Aliyah or you just want to come and visit for five months, you basically live and uh, work on a kibbutz and most importantly, you study Hebrew. So it's about 20 to 24 hours a week, um, both learning and then also studying. Then what is a kibbutz? If people were not really sure what it was, I didn't know what a kibbutz was until I came here. So basically, it's a unique form. It's a community, basically, where they have many sorts of um, agriculture or factories or fish. Every kibbutz is different, and this is how they live. This is how they, you know, the income comes in, and this is what they do. Um, the program is for, as I said, tourists um, between the ages of 18 and 30, and there also is a kibbutz that is for older people who have studied um, ages 22 to 35. There's only one kibbutz Upan program for that. Um, the program is five months. There's many dates you can join. Uh, basically, the Upan is located all over Israel, and there's there's 14 start dates. So this and they, each kibbutz has uh, two start dates per year, which is 14 start days. Um, then the question that most people wanna know is how are they different? How, how is each kibbutz unique and what do they offer? So basically it depends which date suits you, when you're finishing school, when you're finishing something else, something like that. The location of the kibbutz, if you want on the beach where I am, if you want more inland, if you want in the center, wherever you want, and also the size of the kibbutz. Then each kibbutz program also has two to four levels of Hebrew, Aleph, Bet, Kimol, Dalet. And then also there's one, as I said, about for academics. And then there's a religious kibbutz, and four of them are kosher. So basically, what, what is included in, in this program? You get an accommodation, two to three people per room. There's all different utilities such as laundry, chalarocho, three meals a day you get, obviously the Hebrew classes, um, bedding, towels, all sorts of things you need, work clothes and shoes, um, different kibbutz facilities that you can use. And then also, which is maybe one of the most exciting things, is trips you do over the all around the country. You get five trips per Upan program. And then there's also cultural events and fun activities that you can do on the kibbutz that they provide and all sorts of things like that. And you also get medical insurance, which is important. Um, what is not included in the program is your flight ticket to Israel, um, personal ex uh, expenses, and also your cell phone plan. So the big question is why choose this program? I mean, it's a really good way to interact and to become part of the Israeli society. It also really helps by learning Hebrew. I came here with not much Hebrew. Um, also, the teachers are from the Ministry of Education, so they, you know, they have a good background. They know what they're doing, and they really are amazing. Then you get to meet people from all over the world. When I say all over the world, people from South America, North America, South Africans, Africa, uh, Europe. Australia, New Zealand, everywhere, which is amazing. It's it's amazing. Um, and also, you've, it's also 
a nice starting base when you come into Israel because you're more protected environment and you know they're always here to help you if you have any problems they can help you and it is very affordable um, but with the Maasai it really does help um, there again some things you can only do when you're young and this is one of them um, so here's some contact details if you're interested and you'd like to speak to them um, and then I'll just speak a little bit about my uh, experience. Here's some pictures I'll just show while I talk. Um, basically, uh, my experience was I came to Israel in January as a tourist. Um, I said I'm from South Africa and I am 18, so I just finished school in December. Probably, I think, a lot like Australians. Um, I came here as a tourist, not really knowing if I wanted to make Aliyah or if I wanted to, you know, go back to South Africa. So I came here um, with not much Hebrew. And all I can say is I absolutely loved the program. It was five months of amazing Hebrew, making lots of friends, friends that became family. Um, I'm on Kibbutz Magan Michael, which is a bit north. It's about 20, 30 minutes south of um, Haifa. So we have an amazing beach here. We have the kibbutz is beautiful. Um, the office staff is really helpful and they really, you know, they put so much effort into everything and they help you with everything you need. Um, another big thing that happened was Corona basically became very crazy in my Upan. So what they did, I'll just talk a little bit of how they, what happened in the um, Upan was we, they really, they really helped us because most of us, our families are not here in the country. So they allowed us to stay on the kibbutz. We were still given our three meals a day. We were still given laundry. Um, we still received classes, obviously over Zoom, which was a bit tough, but our teachers really put in a lot of effort and they helped a lot. Um, work was voluntary. So if you wanted to work, you could. Uh, I worked, which was a good thing. So I kept busy. Um, which was also amazing. We, we didn't have all of our trips. We only had two of them because of the corona. Um, but it was really, really an amazing experience. And by the end of the Upan, I decided that this is for me. I want to make Aliyah. So I made Aliyah in August. And I actually started the next Upan program in Magan Michael. I'm currently doing my second program here. Um, I just felt like this program was really for me. And it really helped me. and it was just, you know, where I wanted to be. It was, they just help you with everything. And it's really, this kibbutz has become like my home. Um, I'm sure, I'm, I'm not really sure about the other kibbutzim, but this kibbutz really is amazing. We have four classes. Um, our Upan program is one of the biggest. We have, I think, in a, normally between 75 to 85 people. Um, obviously because of the corona, it's a bit smaller. Uh, we have four classes from Aleph to Dalit, so there's a lot more variety. There'll always be a class for you, um, whether you have a lot of Hebrew or whether you have nothing, it's okay. Um, yeah, you can see here some photos of Corona. Uh, they really, they didn't just leave us, that's the truth. Um, and I mean, that's basically what I have to say. I'm just going to show a bit more of the, the photos here. Um, and if you have like, if anyone has any questions or anything, you're more than welcome to ask me. Um, I'll leave my, my contact details if you'd like to speak more in private or, you know, ask more questions um, about anything. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'll just finish the PowerPoint so you can see all the cool photos. I think this teal was my, my Upan. Yes, this was my Upan. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Great, thank you, Nicole. We do have a question. Yes. Um, is the cost of the program the same regardless of which kibbutz you go to? Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. I can also confirm that that the the price is the same for all the kibbutz in. Yes. Anyone have any more questions for Nicole?
I will leave my email and um, WhatsApp if anyone wants to um, ask me any other questions. Okay, can you see that question or do you want to read it out? Is there any volunteering on the keyboards outside of full pine classes? Um, not really. The program uh, works with four hours working and four hours studying. So if you'd like to work extra, I mean, you could if you want. I'm not really sure how it would work on each kibbutz, but if you'd like to work in another place, I'm sure you could. But after the four hours of working in classes, you're exhausted. You, you want to rest. You want to chill with your friends, learn, do your homework. Um, so it is a long day. So I'm sure you could if you'd really like to. You could uh, um, do that, but it's all up to you. I have a question for you. Um, how did you how did you come to choose your keyboards that you um, that you chose? So basically, there's a I saw I found I did a lot of research where I looked at there was a whole uh, table of comparison of all the keyboard sim where they're located, what they offer, and what I did was I read through all of them, and then what I did was I scratched out the ones that were definitely not for me, like maybe. For me, obviously, the older one was not for me. Uh, the religious one was not for me. So I, I, I removed that. And then I, I was with two kibbutzim and I saw, like, I'm a very big tennis player. So there was tennis courts here. So that was a big one for me. I, I've never lived on the beach. So I wanted to live on the beach. So that was another big one for me. Also here, there's four classes. So a lot bigger variety. So that was another big one for me. Um, and this is a very, I also had a friend that did the Sulpan and she really recommended it for me. And it was the best decision I made, honestly, the best decision I made. That's great. And what are your plans um, after your last kibbutz Sulpan session? So we finish in December um, and hopefully I'll be able to go back to South Africa to visit my family. And then hopefully I'll draft in April, May into the army. Lovely. Yeah, that's my plan. <laughs> Great. Does anyone have any more questions for Nicole? Um, okay, well, Nicole will leave her details here if you want to ask um, any questions outside of the chat. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. So, bye. -bye.